Okay. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but that's the thing. The Human Reaper. Atrocities have no limit. At least it's not trying to kill us this time. Mike keeps cheating. <laughs> I I don't know what happened there. We clearly didn't kill all the enemies, so no idea what the heck happened there. You shoot me. Get out of here, Genji. I don't want anything to do with you. Oh, I was about to move out. Hey! Slammer right now. Pylon was right there. The heart. I thought the I thought the face was around here too. Did we miss the face or what? Hmm. Because we chose to destroy the thing. We didn't keep it or keep the base or whatever. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Because Edie said something about the heart was intact. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So I guess we didn't see the face. Rabbit it says, to be fair, studying the Reaper tech is the smartest thing to do. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get an understanding for it, that's you kind of have to do that. But the problem is, is that Reaper tech, like no matter how small or what part it is, um, it always seems to cause a lot of trouble. I remember this area. There's a bunch of cigarettes around here. Ah, uh, I wonder who smokes. Video log. Okay, so maybe this is the human reaper thing here. Maybe. Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. So, this this Grayson name has been dropped uh, a couple of times throughout uh, some of these games. And I remember we looked it up the first time we heard the name. And apparently this Grayson character is somebody from the novels or the comics or something. Um, and it's kind of weird how they reference to that person's name when if all you've played is just the video games, you're like, who's this Grayson person? Um, and I don't really know the backstory behind this Grayson character. Um, but yeah, they've dropped his name a couple of times there. 
Uh, until you get indoctrinated. Remington says, don't you need a, a live reaper for that? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, Mor Morgan is on top of it. Being close to artifacts affects people, yep. Hence why, do you remember the Mass Effect 2 Arrival DLC and how the lady was like, hey, we found this reaper artifact, come look at it. It was affecting the entire station, so... That was proof right there. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work at Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Last entry here. Sir, you wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. No. We're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, end recording. What was happening there? Doctor Nation is really a Leviathan skill, right? I mean, pretty much. I think so. Because before Reapers, there were Leviathans, and uh, and I'm assuming that that's that's probably a true statement. Oh. Elusive man was about to do something. <laughs> Robert says, I think the Leviathan said Reapers evolved the indoctrination themselves. Don't quote me. Uh, well, I know one person in chat will, would probably know this. And that is, uh... Morrigan would probably know the answer to that. Yeah, I gotta know. If, it, if if that was said in the DLC, then I probably forgot. You gotta forgive me. I've been playing Mass Effect nonstop since February 1st, pretty much. And there's been too much lore. So, if I miss a couple of things or don't remember off the top of my head, then, you know, I'm shoving too much information into my brain. Can't remember? Okay, that's fine. All right. Activate the Prothean VI. Are you guys ready for this? This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. He's not here. Where is he at? That's the hologram we would we would use when we were talking to him. We need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. 
But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The catalyst. Yes. So what is this cat catalyst, then? What is the catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reavers? It's a cat. You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? Ooh. You think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. Go to rewatch re the chat and report tomorrow. The chat? The video, says Remington's. Lots of good info coming. All right, here we go. Keep your ears open. Uh, read this for yourself. It's not too late to help me. The the elusive man is like a prime example of like somebody in Star Wars that has gone to the dark side, and you still think that there's a a little bit inside that is good, and they will help you. But we know how that goes. Uh, I'll say my Paragon thing because this is the Paragon playthrough. It's not too late to help me. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the catalyst. With the crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is... admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. I can't help you anymore. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done. And so are you. Once again, you fail to recognize the truth. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you, working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. You just made a point, Elusive Man did. Uh, here's a protein. Oh, yeah. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yeah. Yes, I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. The Citadel? The catalyst is the Citadel. Right under our nose this entire time. The catalyst is the Citadel. Moffin said he's transitioned from Martin Sheen to his son, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Tiger blood. Winner. Or winning is what he says, not winner. Duh, he says winning. The Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers. That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them. Precisely. Why all the secrecy? Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. What do you mean? Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols 
the one you call the elusive man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. What? Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Sol. Our system? Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The arts of accessing it are remote. So the Reapers moved the Citadel out of Citadel space, put it in the Sol system next to Earth. Why they did that, who knows. We knew this day was coming. We were going to face the Reapers head on eventually. It doesn't really matter where it happens. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hacked. He needs. Not so fast. Oh, he's you, dead. He's dying. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Oh, here we go. Get your samurai sword out of here. This is better than Thessia. More person. Get out of here, bro. Oh, get to cover. Flare, dude. Are you serious? Jeez, how's this gonna go on insanity? I'm already getting hit. Oh wow, he does this attack where it looks like he's still there, but he's not. Pretty good. Better run. Is that the uh -oh. best you can do? I'm dead. Okay, everyone's all clustered over there. Big explosions. You're still slow, sir. I'm only slow because I'm not running. <laughs> Get, die, die. Okay. All right, where's the at? Whoa. Cover. You ran on Shut up. Technically, he's not. He's not wrong. He did run on Thessia. Get away from me, Phantom. Is there a second? There's a second. Oh crap, Kylie. Yo, we gotta kill this phantom. Come on. This phantom. Is he behind me right now? God, a stupid phantom. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. I think you're dead. 
Kai Lang, buddy. Ten out of ten fight. Shepard, turn around, he's right behind you. That was for Thane, you son of a bitch. For Thane. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating a means of conserving information for future species. Perhaps you will succeed where we fail. Perhaps your warnings will be heard early enough. I should have hit that, but I didn't. We don't need rep, it's fine. I got so excited I missed those two things, but that's alright. Cartwheeled around for a little while. It's so satisfying to get him for Thane, man. This freaking Kai Lang dude. you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but it looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. There you go. Priority Earth. The final mission of Mass Effect 3. There it is. 55,000 credits. <clears throat> Being level 60 helps a ton with difficulty. I'm sure it probably does. Uh, let's see. Priority Earth. The Citadel is now in orbit over Earth in the heart of Reaper-controlled space. A final assault on Earth is the only way to deliver the Crucible to the Citadel and defeat the Reapers. Launch the assault on Earth when ready. Uh, okay. Is the weave fight difficult? Uh, I don't know. We are playing on the hardest difficulty, so... Aside from maybe not having... Um, maybe the certain weapons that we do, and maybe being, like, under 50, it's probably a little challenging, but... I don't know, I feel like they could have made that fight a little bit better. Uh, but then again, there wasn't really too much room in there to kind of have this big epic fight. The Reaper Heart. Uh, okay, so here we go. After Commander Shepard destroyed the Collector Base, Cerberus spent months picking through irradiated rubble for anything useful. The human Proto-Reaper the Collectors were building lay in pieces, but its incomplete core survived. The power cell would have been capable of fueling a full-fledged Reaper. After studying the device, Cerberus modified it to fuel the elusive man's base. Alliance engineers believe 
that they can use the core similar similarly to power the crucible. So that's what um somebody said that earlier in chat about about that. I think it was a uh, uh, um Veritorix. I think said that. There we go. So now what? Let's see. Let's take a look around here on the ship. I don't think we need to do crew talks, but it probably wouldn't hurt to so much for go around here. All that's left now is Earth. You ready? Hell yes. Put me in a shuttle. I don't want to tell my grandkids that I spent the war guarding a door. <laughs> oh, man. Uh... Morrigan says, I don't get why Reapers look the same. All look, all look the same. But they were going to build a human-shaped one. Yeah, see, like, I don't know. Like, obviously, the most of the Reapers look the same because they're, like, modeled after Leviathan, I think. And with this human Reaper, to my understanding, I might be wrong on this, but when we were playing Mass Effect 2... The reason that the Collectors uh, and the Reapers were making a human Reaper was because all they were using were pretty much the goo of uh, organics. When they were, they would capture the uh, civilians on colonies and stuff, take them up to the Collector ship, and then basically mush them into goo, and that would fuel the Reaper. And I thought there was something in Mass Effect 2 that said depending on what they use to make the Reaper, that's what it's gonna look like. So the fact that they use nothing but humans, I think that's why it looked like a human Reaper, but I could be wrong. But to my understanding, that makes sense. So, I don't know. Uh, Moffat says, imagine how goofy a human Reaper spaceship would look flying around. <laughs> that would be kinda, kinda funny to see. Sovereign was already Patrick Starr, yep. We had a deep talk about that once and I brought up the question, yeah, for sure. So I I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm right, but I could be wrong. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist train, 